Hey guys and welcome back to the quickie series for Domain Hunter Gatherer. This video I'll be going over how to use the um, finding expired domains from specific websites. Now some people uh, are not too sure what this feature is or why you'd use it or even what websites to use it on. So I'm going to quickly show you my settings as I will in all the other videos just to show you that there's nothing special about my setup. I'm going to go to the setup and help. Um, the only thing that you really need to change is you put in your proxies here make sure that you've got this checked to use your primary proxies and then check these four options to um, make sure that your proxies are being used for all of the the different aspects of the tool okay so over here we've got the use dom domain dom detailer api checked now this is what Domain Hunter Gatherer will use to check the Majestic and Moz stats for the different domains. Okay, what that basically means is that you don't need a Moz account or a Majestic account to get your Majestic and Moz stats. Uh, that's when using Domain Hunter Gatherer Pro, which obviously the expired Domain Hunter is part of. Okay, so that should be checked, but you can check that it uh, ensure that it is checked before running. And in the advanced settings, all of this is pretty much the default settings. So there's not really anything that you need to change there. Um, so once you've put in your proxies, apply and save the settings. And then we want to go to the expired domain hunter and the hunt expired domains from website. <clears throat> now in here, all we need to do is put in the website that you want to crawl in here. In this example, I'm going to be using Wikipedia just because there are a lot of domains being linked from Wikipedia and it seems to be quite a popular target for um, expired domain hunters. Now, with it being a popular one, it does mean that a lot of the domains or a lot of the really good domains will be gone. But if a domain has a link from Wikipedia, you know that it's at least somewhat reputable and likely has other links from other um, high ranking or authority websites. Okay, so if you wanted to crawl a specific region of Wikipedia, you could make sure that every page has um, that in the address. For example, that would make sure that it was only crawling the English version of Wikipedia, or if you wanted the French version, for example, you could do uh, FR and so on. This example, I'm just gonna be running uh, through the whole of wikipedia.org. And I'm gonna set the um, crawl levels to around 1,000. The reason I set it so high um, is basically so the domain hunter gatherer will not um, stop crawling before I'm ready for it to. If you only want it to run say five crawl depths on a specific website then set it at five. There's nothing wrong with that. I just prefer from my use case for me to hit crawl and have it just crawling endlessly and finding domains and then when I decide that I've had enough like say after a day or a few days or even a week for example then I can hit stop and then I will get the domains but that's why I do that basically so that it's going to continue on running until I tell it to stop. Okay, so that's it. All I'm going to do is hit crawl and you'll see straight away it starts crawling. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it running for about a day, you know, around 24 hours and uh, we'll see what it gets in that time. I'm not going to record the whole session because um, it will probably fill up my SSD just on footage, but I'll come back and you'll be able to see the results from that. Now, you can use this on any authority website. You can use it on Wikipedia, WordPress, BBC, Huffington Post, CNN, um, basically any website that you can think of, you can use Domain Hunter Gatherer to crawl and try and find domains from. Now, that also includes any of your competitors websites so for example if you have a website that's in um, the building niche or construction then you could find the top five or ten ranking websites in that and have domain hunter gatherer go through all of the pages and find any domains that it links to that are available now 
in that case, it doesn't really matter what the stats are of those domains. If you're looking to beat your competitors and get much higher rankings than them, you want links from as many related sites. And if you can get links directly from your competitors, you're going to be outranking them in no time. So if you have a particular niche that you're interested in, you can use the Hunt Expired domains from keywords to get some <clears throat> niche related domains. But also, it's a great idea to put in your competitors you know actually crawl your all of your main competitors websites and get any domain that they link to because ultimately that's them telling the search engines that you're a reputable site and that you have something of value so that is something that not a lot of people are really doing i've seen some agencies um some domain selling agencies that are doing this but really it's something that i don't see talked about and it I think a lot of people are really missing a trick there that if you want domains for a specific purpose, as in it's not just a generic um, PBM that's going to be used for ranking any old website, if it's going to be used for ranking a specific website, hit your competitors, get domains that they are linking to already and you'll see that you'll be outranking them in no time. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video now and I'm going to come back in about 24 hours and see what we've got from there. Okay, so now we're back. It was running for um, a little over 23 hours. And in that time, it's managed to find 3,300 domains. Now, as you can see, each of these domains were found on the Wikipedia website um, in from one page or another. Okay, now you can see the what I was saying about limiting it to a specific region because I've just let it go and have free reign to find uh, domains on any part of Wikipedia. It has actually found domains from I don't know a lot of these regions, but um, IT would be Italy, RO, I guess it would be Romania, and and new possibly New Zealand and so on. So we can see it's automatically found the page rank um, it's, or, it's already telling me how many characters are in the, the domain name excluding the the TLD whether it's got hyphens numbers the exact TLD whether it's indexed in Yahoo or Google and across here we see that it's automatically found the Moz stats and the Majestic stats um, for those domains so from here on we can sort by page rank we can see that there's a, a lot of high page rank domains available we can sort by domain authority or trust flow for example you can filter by trust flow or any other stat that you want so you want to check domains that have a, a trust flow of 20 or more, you can do so. So it's got 196 domains with a trust flow of above 20. As I've explained, these searches are not limited to Wikipedia. They're not limited to any other example that I've given. So they don't have to be from Wikipedia, WordPress, BBC, and so on. They could be any website whatsoever. And obviously, the bigger the website, the better, because the more content there's going to be on there, the more chance there is that they've linked to um, other sites. So find the authorities in, in your niche. Find your competitors, whether they're local, small local websites or huge international conglomerates. You, the bigger the site, the more likely there is to be um, available domains that they're linking to. But also, if they're a small local site and you've got, say, 10 businesses in your local area that you're competing with and you can get even a handful of domains that they're linking to that is a huge boon to your search engine optimization so if you can get those you are really on to a winner so um, that's basically all you need to do to crawl for domains from a website okay um, proxies are less important here than they are for when you're searching but it's always a good idea to use proxies even if you're only using 10 or 20 I'd really advise splashing out getting some either private or shared proxies um, you could even use back connect proxies they don't tend to be as quick as shared proxies you know if, if money is a, a, a bit tight and you're on a 
a tight budget then uh, you could go with back connect proxies or reverse proxies depending on what the vendor de decides to call them um, but ultimately as long as you've got a few proxies that's all you need and you get all the important Moz and Majestic stats without even having to run an analysis and you'll get also the page rank and whether they're indexed in Google and Yahoo okay so yeah if if you're doing anything more than putting in your website and and maybe telling it what the page can or can't contain like for instance if you're crawling a site that you know has a big members area and you don't want to crawl that you just want to crawl the um outward facing website you can put must not contain members but ultimately you put in your website address um set your crawl levels up click crawl and then you're done